is the difference between relative and absolute dating? Relative dating methods can tell us only if a fossil is older or younger than another fossil. Stratigraphy is one example of a relative dating method. Generally, deeper layers of dirt and rock are older than the surface layer of dirt. Through a variety of other techniques, scientists have determined how old these layers are, going back millions of years. Paleontologists can determine the age of a fossil based on how far below the ground surface it is found. Simply, the fossil's age is relative to the age of the Earth around it. Absolute dating, also known as calendar dating, tells the age of something in actual years. For example, if human remains are found next to a coin with the year 1500 inscribed on it, scientists can tell that the remains date back to sometime during or after the year 1500. Another form of absolute dating is called carbon-14, C14 dating. Living organisms have the same amount of carbon-14 in their cellular structure. Once an organism dies, C14 begins decreasing at a constant rate. Scientists test fossils for the amount of C14 present, and with that number, they can tell how long ago an organism lived. And that is the difference between relative and absolute dating in about a minute.